Hello friends, welcome to my channel DLD Quest. Before you start watching the video, please subscribe to my channel DLD Quest. In this video, we should discuss about 2-bit magnitude comparator. Magnitude comparator means it is a combinational circuit that compares two numbers in order to find that the two numbers are equal or one number is less than another number or one number is greater than another number. So to develop this magnitude comparator circuit diagram, the general design procedure is first we should develop the truth table, then find the simplified Boolean expressions with the help of k-maps for output variables. After that, we should draw the logic diagram. But for two-bit magnitude comparator, this design procedure is a little bit lengthy to so take logic from one-bit magnitude comparator and then easily we can write the Boolean functions without using the truth table and k-maps to develop the circuit diagram. Okay, for that, we should take the two numbers a and b with the two bits as a equal to a1, a0, b equal to b1, b0. Okay, these two are in variable form. Now, for these variables, we should assign binary values. So the total number of combinations should be 2 power 4, which is equal to 16. The first combination is a equal to 0, 0, b equal to 0, 0. Similarly, a equal to 0, 1, b equal to 0, 0. In this way, we should fill all the combinations. Okay, this is only to understand the concept behind the easy way of writing the Boolean functions. Now, we should identify the relation between two numbers for all these combinations. To understand the relation between any two numbers, always it is better to compare with the decimal numbers. First, we should take two decimal numbers, A as 26 and B as 23. Now, we should start the comparison between these two numbers. The comparison always should start from MSB only. Okay. Now, 2, 2. These two are equal. Okay. Then we should move the comparison to right side. 6 is greater number than 3. So, so the relation between these two numbers is A is greater than B. In the same way, suppose if I take the different combination of decimal numbers, if it is the 23 and this is the 26, here also same. 2, 2. These two are equal. Then 3 is less than 6. That's why it is A less than B. This, this is another relation. In the same way, the two numbers are 23, 23. Then we can say that A equal to B. Okay. This is the third relation. Okay. Similarly, suppose if we take the numbers A equal to 1, 6, B equal to 2, 3. First, we should compare the leftmost. Here, 1, 2. 1, 2 means 1 is a lesser number than B. So, no need to compare the next lower order digits. Okay. So, just with the help of leftmost MSB bits only, we should write it as A is less than B. In the same way, suppose A equal to 23, B equal to 16. Okay. Here also same. First, we should compare the leftmost digits. 2 is greater than B. So, no need of comparison of the next lower digits. Okay. From this, directly we can say that A is greater than B. Now, with the help of all these logics, we should write the relation between A and B in binary form. Now, when we see A and B here, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, both are equal. That's why it is the equality. Next, A equal to 0, 1, B equal to 0, 0. Here, we should start from MSB. 0, 0, both are equal. Equal means now we should move to right side. So, A is 1. A is greater. A is greater than B. So, that is greater operator. Now, here in the MSB position, 1, 0. That means A is greater. So, no need to compare these two bits. Directly, we can say that this is a greater number. Okay. Next to AB, the leftmost combination is 1, 0. So, that directly, we can say that A is greater than B. Next one, 0, 0. Both are same. So, that we have to move to right side. Here, 0, 1. That means A is lesser. Okay. Therefore, directly, we can say that it's lesser. Next to 0, 0, both are same. Here, 1, 1, both are same. So, equal. Okay. Next to here it is 1, 0. So, 1 means greater number. So, directly we can say that it is greater. Next to A, B, 1, 0. No need to check the remaining bits. Okay. It satisfies the condition of A greater than B. 0, 1, A less than B. So, that this is a lesser operator. Next to 0, 1, therefore lesser. Here it is 1, 1, 0, 0. Both are equal. Okay. So, equal operator. Next to 1, 1 and 1, 0. These two are equal. Now, we should move to right side. 1 is greater number. So, that greater operator. Next to 0, 1. That means A is less than B. So, lesser operator. Next to A, B. Next to the leftmost is 0, 1. Again, lesser operator. A less than B operation. Next to 
Here it is 1, 1, both are same. Now we should move to right side. 0, 1, that means less than, A less than B. Next, 1, 1 equal, 1, 1 equal, so equal operator, okay? So in this way, first we should identify the relation between the A and B binary data, okay? Now we should relate this logic with these Boolean functions. For f of a greater than b equal to a b dash, this is this is for one bit comparison. A greater than b means a is in normal form, b is in complement form. Now you can see here, here we can see this is greater operator, this is another greater operator, this is another combination. Similarly, we have totally six greater combinations. When we look on all these combinations, we can easily observe that here for greater operation, a is 1 and b is 0, directly we can say that greater. A is 1 means A is in normal form. B 0 means B dash. Okay. So for this combination, directly we can say that A is greater than B. In all these four combinations, this it satisfies the condition of A B dash. Okay. A is in normal form. B is a complement form. No need to check the next lower bits. Based on these logics, we should write the expression for A greater than B as A B dash. This is for only one bit comparison. Now we should write the equation for two bit comparison okay a greater than b means the leftmost should be in normal form okay therefore a1 b1 dash for these two combinations the msb bits are equal what is the equation for equal f of a equal to b is a x nor b so we should write it as a1 is x nor with b1 and the LSB bits should be A0, B0 dash. So this is the expression for A greater than B. Okay. In the same way, for lesser operator also, we should write it as for A less than B. When we check the lesser operator combinations, all these are A less than B combinations. When we check these four combinations, A is 0 means A1 dash. This 1 means B1. Or if the leftmost bits both are zeros or both are 1s, that means equal. And the rightmost bits a is 0 and b1 then also we can say that a less than b so that we have to write the equality equation for these two msb bits equality operator means again we should write it as a1 xnr with b1 and a is 0 and b is 1 therefore 0 means complement form 1 means normal form so a0 dash b0 so this is the expression for a less than b in the same way for a equal to b we should write it as for all these combinations we can say that a equal to b when msb bits are equal and lsb bits are equal then we can say that the two given numbers are equal so we should use the equality equation here it is a x nor b so we should use this expression to write this boolean expression for a equal to b this is a1 x nor with the b1 and a0 is x nor with b0 okay then only we can say that the two given numbers should be equal okay so this is the way of writing the boolean expressions for two bit magnitude comparator now here you can see the complete boolean expressions for one bit magnitude comparator and two bit magnitude comparator and also easily we can write for three bit magnitude comparator in this way we should extend up to n bit comparator so for one bit comparator, the Boolean expressions are f of a greater than b equal to a b dash. f of a equal to b is a x nor with b, which is assigned with x variable. And f of a less than b equal to a dash b. Okay, where x means a dash b dash plus a b. This, similarly, for the two bit magnitude comparator, easily we can write it as f of a greater than b equal to a1 b1 dash. Nothing but if a is 1 and b is 0, then directly we can say that b is greater than b. Or another combination is if msb bits are equal. Equal means a1 b1 means either zeros or 1s. Okay. End. End means dot symbol a0 b0 dash. That is for a it is 1 and b 0. Then also we can say that a is greater than b. In the same way we should write the expression for 3 bit magnitude comparator also. a greater than b equal to a2 b2 dash plus x2 a1 b1 dash plus x2 x1 a0 b0 dash. Similarly, the Boolean function for a equal to b is x1 dot x0. That means next for less than b a1 dash b1. That means for a its value is 0 and b 1 in the MSB position. Then directly we can say that a less than b. Or if MSB bits are equal, equal means x1. 
which is ended with a0 dash b0. Then also we can say that a less than b. Okay. Where x1 equal to a1 dash b1 dash plus a1 b1. Nothing but either zeros or ones. Okay. So a1 x0 b1. Similarly, x0 equal to a0 dash b0 dash plus a0 b0 equal to a0 x0 with b0. Next, for three bit magnitude comparator, same way we should write f of, f of a equal to b is equal to x2 dot x1 dot x0. Okay. Similarly, for less than b, a2 dash b2 plus x2 a1 dash b1 plus x2 x1 a0 dash b0. So, in this way, we can write up to n bits. So, based on these Boolean expressions, we should develop the logic diagrams. So, this is the one bit comparator logic circuit and this is a two bit comparator logic diagram. Here you can see the Boolean expressions for two bit magnetic comparators are f of a greater than b equal to a1 b1 dash plus x1 into a0 b0 dash. Okay. x1 means this is x nor gate. For x nor gate, the inputs are a1 b1. Okay, suppose uh, equality operator is x0, the inputs are a0, b0. Okay, suppose if it is x3, the inputs are a3, b3. Okay. In this way, we should develop the circuit diagram. Here you can see, this is a one bit comparator logic diagram. This is already I have explained in the last video. In this video, I will explain how to develop the, how to draw the logic diagram for two bit comparator. Here, the inputs are a1, a0, b1, b0. Through not gates, we will get the a1 dash, a0 dash, b1 dash, and b0. Using logic gates, a1, b1 dash means here we have to use the AND gate. Okay. For this AND gate, a1, b1 dash are inputs. This is a1, b1 dash means this is b1 dash. Just link b1 dash and a1. Here the second term is x1 is ANDing with a0, b0 dash. So, A0, P0 dash. Okay. So, we should use this second AND gate. For this, A0 is, this is the first input. And B0 dash is from this line. We should connect. The output is ANDing with X1. X1 means exclusive NOR gate. Okay. Exclusive NOR gate means A1, B1. These two are inputs. Okay. So, the output of X NOR gate and the output of this product term, these two are ANDing each other with another logic gate, with another AND gate. The output of this product term and the output of these two product terms should be connected to R gate because it is the plus symbol. In this way, we should develop the total logic diagram. Okay. I hope you understand this two-bit magnetic comparator. If you are watching my video first time, please, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, DLD Quest. If you have any doubts, please comment in comment box. Definitely, I will help you. Thank you.